we feel there's a couple of reasons for this. One is that you want to make sure that the patients are properly staged. So it is very important to differentiate a non-muscle invasive patient with a, or tumor, I should say, uh, versus a muscle invasive tumor. Uh, the reason for that is because the treatments are drastically different uh, and we, with the muscle invasive tumors, we have to consider multimodal therapies and, and more radical treatments uh, versus the non-muscle invasive tumors uh, that we consider sort of intravesical or treatments into the patient's bladders. The uh, second reason for that is because with the non-muscle invasive tumors, we feel that if you have the minimal amount of disease in the in the bladder at the time of treatment that you're going to have the best response rate and this is actually work that I've published on um, and others have published that restaging TRBTs actually have a better response rate than if you have a single TRBT with adjuvant therapy. Uh, the reason for that being um, because again you probably are getting a better effect and you're minimizing the disease. We can see up to 30 to 50 percent of uh, patients will have still have tumors at the restaging, and up to 20% of patients will actually have a higher stage than we initially thought, which changes again the therapy that these patients get.